Hi there, I'm Afra from Mad Mum of Seven. I've called that because I am the mad mother of seven children. Uh, I've been asked to take part in the AMA challenge, Ask Me Anything. Right here I have the questions. I haven't seen them, so this could be interesting. Here we go. <laughs> Question one. Snog, marry, avoid. Nigel Farage, David, David Cameron, Jeremy Corbyn. Ooh, is there not an avoid all option? Is there not a hang yourself first option? That's so difficult. I mean, Nigel Farage, I'm sorry, avoid, avoid politics or anything aside. Just that smile makes my stomach turn. So he's definitely on the avoid. Now, David Cameron and Jeremy Corbyn, this could be a bit embarrassing. I quite like a posh boy, which is a bit odd because I didn't marry a posh boy. So I'd probably snog and marry David Cameron, mainly because, you know, he's a bit of a posh boy and he's probably got quite a lot of money. But I think I could probably snog Jeremy Corbyn at a push after quite a lot of gin and possibly some mood enhancing drugs. And David Cameron, it, it marry, but you know, trophy wife, not actually like have anything to do with him, sleep in separate bedrooms and just enjoy the money. Question two, what is your most embarrassing memory? Oh, so many embarrassing memories. Don't actually know where to start. Well, I have talked before on the blog about the one where I was out on a kind of date as a teenager. I say kind of date, because it was one of those dates where you're in a group of you and, like you've kind of been asked out by the boy and, and because we were teenagers, we'd gone swimming. So new costume, you know, I was a lot slimmer than I am now. Hadn't had seven children for a start. And uh, we went to one of these fun pools. They were all the rage when I was young and uh, it had got a slide. Uh, I really don't like slides very much, but anyway. So the boys had come down first and then it was the girls turn and because you know, um, relatively confident. I said, oh, well, I'll go first. So launched myself down this slide, got to the bottom, came out as if I imagined like some mermaid from the sea flicking my hair back in an attractive fashion to see that the boys weren't really looking at my hair. They were more looking at this area where my swimming costume had had, I think what they call now a wardrobe malfunction. I mean, that is many decades ago and I'm still cringing thinking about that right now not great is it do I have hairy toes is question three let me check hang on how bendy am I nice nail varnish no no hair there I'm actually quite proud of my feet uh, I'm diabetic so I spend a lot of time moisturizing them and fiddling with them under the excuse that I'm doing it for medical reasons question four what's your guilty food pleasure food just food all food I love food obviously love food. Um, Farley's Rusks. I really, really like Farley's Rusks. I buy them for myself in the pound shop. Um, I obviously like them as a child. I don't remember. Question five. <laughs> What's the album you are most ashamed of in your music collection? Well, I used to be ashamed of ABBA, but I'm not anymore because ABBA's cool. It's so uncool, it's cool again. Uh, Possibly Neil Diamond. I really like Neil Diamond. Just because, you know, any mood you're in, you can sing along to Neil Diamond. They're very easy songs to sing along to and you can belt them out. He can't sing, so I don't feel it is that bad that I can't sing either. So probably any Neil Diamond album. Question six. Where do you see yourself in five years time? Well, with a lot less children living at home than I have now, I'm down to four living at home out of the seven and it's getting car calmer and quieter and there's a lot less potatoes to peel. Five years time, I'd like to think we're solvent. Still married to my husband of 25 years, Ray. Uh, having a few more holidays and hopefully that the blog has gone on to be in the top 100 of both tots and foodies because, you know, that's everybody's aim in life. Actually, it is actually mine. Um, and to still be enjoying writing, which is a life lifelong joy. Do you have to be mad to have seven children or does it help? 
I think by the very nature that I have seven children, most people define me as mad. But it kind of came about in a weird way and that we always said we'd have four and then we got to four and once you can cope with four kids, frankly, it's just about, you know, more potatoes and a bigger car and well, we managed it and they bring me joy. They bring me a lot of headaches as well, but they bring me joy. And now I'm at the stage where I've got the older children helping me with the younger children and uh, occasionally taking me out for dinner, sharing a bottle of gin with me. So yeah, it seemed like madness at the time, but particularly the older they get, um, seeing that maybe it wasn't such a crazy decision. I love my huge family. I would not be without them for a minute. I can highly recommend it if, you know, holidays on beaches with palm trees isn't important to you. Family is. So no, might be mad, does help to be mad, but I still would recommend it. Still don't regret a minute of it. And that seems to be all of my questions. Not as bad as I thought. Hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit more about the Mad Mum of Seven. And if you want to know any more, well, <laughs> you know where to find me, all the social media and on the blog. Just type in Mad Mama 7.